Hope you guys have enjoyed the previous videos by learning in and out of collection framework. Now it's time to learn about another beautiful concepts and interesting topic in Java, which is multi-threading. I heard from many developers saying that multi-threading is one of the toughest topic in Java. The reason behind that is people think like, okay, it is developed by Oracle Java team where it is core level, the language level, and it is very difficult to understand the concepts, how it is actually working internally. So I have taken the toughest topic and split into multiple videos and want to go in and out of each concepts in multi-threading and I want to make you guys feel comfortable in terms of like before appear for any interview as well as coding and also I will go through with the real-time programming so you guys will understand where we really use multi-threading in our real-time programming in our client place. In this video I am going to explain what do you mean by restarting a thread in Java and what will happen if you try to restart a thread and is it possible to restart a thread in Java? Let's get started. So guys, uh, there will be a, a trick in your entry question where they might try to understand how much you have knowledge in Java, especially in multi-threading. So they might be asking how to restart a thread in Java. So what do you mean by restart a thread? So restarting a thread is nothing but once you the thread has been restarted, like once a thread has been started, if you try to uh, you know start the same thread again, that is called restarting a thread, right? So let's say I have a main program where I have a main class where main main method I have, and within that I am going to call uh, I am going to get an object of a thread. So basically this is a my class where I have a class which extends thread. Basically I am writing uh, you know uh, overriding the run method. Here I am writing a piece of code let's say inside no argument run right so this is nothing but called we call it as a job of a thread right so what i'm trying to do in order to call this one i need to call t dot start so t dot start means it internally calls the uh, start method which is present inside the thread class that internally do some perform operation so basically it registers uh, the thread which is getting created here which is a t with the job scheduler and then it is going to perform some mandatory activities and then it is going to call the no argument run method isn't it since i have executed like since i have overwritten the run method here it is going to call this one right and this will be executed by the child thread and then again i try to do t dot start so what will happen here so after right after printing this one it will say t dot start so this thread is already started right but you are not there is no way that you can able to restart the same thread so basically if you want to create multiple threads you can able to create it but the same thread, once it gets completed, it won't get restarted. That is the concept behind the multi-threading concept in Java. So in Java, the same thread cannot be restarted. But if someone asks whether it is possible to restart the same thread, you can say no. Then if they say how to restart it, what you can do is you can say t dot start and then again try to say uh, the same statement. Let's say you are trying to restart it. So this is how you are trying to restart. But if you try to restart, what will happen? They might ask it, right? So if you try to restart the same thread, let's say t dot start and again t dot start. So what actually do is it is going to throw the runtime exception saying that illegal thread state exception. So the state of the thread is illegal, which is not exist. So that is why it is throwing the runtime exception, which is illegal thread state exception. So if anyone asks you in Java interview or anywhere saying that how to restart a same thread in Java, you can say there is no way that you can restart the same thread in Java. But if they ask what will happen if you try to restart, then you can say it will throw a runtime exception saying that illegal thread state exception. And if they ask how to try to do it, then you can say t dot start again t dot start. The same thread has to be uh, called uh, like starting again. So that is not possible. Once a thread gets started, that's it. You cannot able to restart it. So this is the beauty behind the you know restarting a thread. I'm going to write the same program. I will show you the output how it actually works in the real time. Hello guys. Now it's a practical session to see how to restart a particular thread in Java and what will happen if I try to restart a particular thread. So let's get started. So what I did here is I have created a program where I create a class which extends thread class and where I have a method which is like a run method which is actually a job of a thread, right? So I'm just writing some sysout statement inside the run method and now in my actual class which is like main class where I have a main method basically what I'm doing here is I am creating a thread object basically I am creating a you know I am doing instantiating the thread and then I am actually starting it. So as we know already that the way how to start a thread is by calling start method right. So when I say t dot start what happens internally is the thread is getting started. So that whatever the thread gets started that will be registered with the job scheduler within the JVM and that will be executing the piece of code which is defined here inside the run method which is a job of a particular thread right. 
so if you guys see here this piece of code of or uh, this piece of code will be run by executed by the main thread and this will be executed by the main thread and this piece of line right line number 9 10 11 will be executed by the main thread right so let me go and execute this program so that you guys will understand the normal flow then i will go and demonstrate what will happen if you try to restart the start method okay if you guys see here i am seeing inside child thread so inside child class it is called the child thread which is nothing but thread hyphen zero this is the name of a thread which was created in for executing the the run method and if you guys see here inside main class the name of a thread is nothing but main so this is the actual main thread right so as we know that whenever uh, you write any java class uh, you will have a main method so that main method means at least one thread will have uh, will be created in the jvm that is nothing but main thread so every line inside the uh, method in java will be executed by a thread right so you guys see the normal flow now let's get into the point where what will or how to restart a particular thread in java first thing so when i say restart restart means starting an already executed already started thread right so what i'm doing here is how to do it is nothing but t dot start right how to restart a particular thread is nothing but like this right here i am already starting a particular thread by calling start method again i am calling the same method t dot start which is nothing but restarting isn't it so i am going to say restarting a thread right so what will happen if i do restart so in java whenever you actually start a thread it internally calls the run method the no argue run method which is actually a job of a thread and it is it is purpose is to complete its job right whatever it there after that it won't be there right but here what i'm trying to do it's already started and again i'm trying to start it back right so basically in java so restarting a particular uh, thread is not possible the reason behind that is whenever a thread gets created the life cycle of the thread is something like it will go and execute this particular uh, job of a thread and there are like different states of a thread we are going to see in our future videos but for now just see uh, remember that whenever we create one thread and whenever the thread gets started it will get registered in the scheduler and it is going to call the no argue run method and inside that whatever we write our logic it will be executed and then that's it right so now let's see what will happen if i try to see t dot start two times right meaning like i'm restarting it okay if you guys see here we are getting java dot lang dot illegal thread state exception right this is what we have seen our theory class right illegal thread state exception so what happens here is if you see exception in the thread main so basically this line is executed by the main thread that is the reason it says exception in the thread main right and then this piece of code was not executed because it is a runtime error right when i say runtime error it means like after that it won't uh, execute piece of code whatever we have after this line of execution but this got executed this is just because of this particular piece of line which is 8 line number 8 whenever the line number 8 got executed t dot start it internally calls the run method and that executes this piece of code that is where we can see these outputs right this piece of outputs after that it executes the line number 9 which is t dot start basically line number 9 is executed by the main thread whenever we say the main thread looks for t dot start but the thread is already started so in java the same thread cannot be started back again so that is the reason it was throwing an error or exception and that exception is happened the thread called main and that is the reason it got terminated and that is the reason this piece of code was not executed you guys see like we are not seeing this output of these three lines right so this is how actually it happens so if anyone asks you in any interview or anywhere like saying that how to restart a thread in java you can say simply no we cannot restart a particular um thread and you can also tell them that uh, if i try to restart a particular thread in java so it will actually going to create illegal state exception illegal thread state exception and that is how it actually works so i hope you guys understood this concept how to uh, restart a particular thread and what will happen if i try to restart a thread in java thank you guys if you have any question please post your comments thank you guys bye bye i hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys